the sense of physical textures uh, and contours and edges when really none, none physically exist. The solution is comprised of three primary elements. The electronics, which includes a chip and a uh, set of electronics that get installed into the system. Some of those would be put on the motherboard by, by manufacturer. Of course, we didn't do that in the case of this. The Tixel layer, which normally would just be put on top of, uh, which would normally just be a coating on the screen of the manufacturer's display. And just to make sure that these, we can go and test many different uh, uh, incarnations of the Tixel layer, we just simply tape those on top. Um, and in spite of the fact that we have the normal cover screen, which is 7 tenths of a millimeter plus this, you realize that we're still getting a very significant effect. Mm -hmm. And we can actually ramp that effect up. We've tuned it down because it, would, it can be made such that it's almost unpleasant. Uh, and then software to control it. The software you know, comes with developer APIs so they can go ahead and create their own effects. Uh, they can manipulate different, uh, you know, it comes with a palette of effects that we've, we have pre-built, but application developers also have the ability to create their own effects. Uh, when we get to scalability, uh, there some because this isn't mechanical vibration, we can put this on a big screen TV with essentially no increase in manufacturing complexity. Again, because we're not doing anything mechanical, we're doing it with uh, static electricity. Um, because it's static as opposed to current flowing somewhere, uh, it doesn't use a lot of energy. Also, because we're not you know, starting up a motor and vibrating the whole device uh, or manipulating physical components like you do with piezos. Uh, but let's think about some other things. You know, a lot of home, uh, home electronic controls. Mm. Now, why not have the click, click, click sensation uh, electrostatically instead of having mechanical dials? Uh, you know, when it's solid state, it's, it has a much longer expected lifespan. Uh, you could do it with your thermostat and have, have controls on the thermostat for hot, cold, for your fan settings, and get that tactile reinforcement of your behavior so you know that you've actually accomplished the action that you're trying to, to take. Pretty cool, huh? It is amazing. <laughs> This blows me away, like the <laughs> different textures. Yeah, we've been playing around with this this one, which is supposed to be a fleece. Uh, you know, and one of the challenges is, you know, we can create a huge range of textures, and but what maps to a physical texture? Yeah, that's that starts getting really tough. You know, so uh, you know, we could give you a dozen different identifiable. Uh, effects and different magnitudes of each of those effects. But um, coming up with something that feels exactly like silk, you know, that's, that, that's a little harder. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think that, uh, you were talking about the thermostat, do you think one day you'd be able to incorporate like a heat and a cool feel to the, the product? You know, that's, that's a good question and, and don't have a good answer for it at this point. It's a tough one. You know, <laughs> uh, the you know, temperature is something that's perceived differently by nerves. Mm -hmm. You know, we're exploring textures, whether it's a sheet or a bedspread or a table, by uh, friction. And, you know, hot and cold, that, that's something that, that's very different. So yeah. I wouldn't think so. In terms of um, like the the charge that comes, like the charge comes from the from the device, correct? Yes. How does how is it on on battery? Like, uh, you know, we one of the challenges here is coming up with 
what the right use scenario is mm -hmm. to, to measure battery life against. And we've measured it uh, on a cell, uh, on a smartphone type of format okay. because that's our, you know. That's your market. Well, that's the smallest yeah. constraint. It's also the largest volume yes. <laughs> out there. So, you know, clearly you're not storing nearly as much power in a smartphone battery as you are in a tablet. Uh, we're looking at 5% range of battery life reduction okay. for pretty active use. Now, because these effects can be so subtle um, and can be used to guide actions in, a, in such a myriad of ways, uh, they can also be pervasive. And so when we think of a use scenario, we say, gee, how many hours a day is the device going to be actively used? Mm -hmm. And then we have a pretty aggressive um, forecast of, of how often the, the effects will be running when it's being used. Because you know, unlike mechanical vibration where the whole thing shakes and that's great for an alert mm -hmm. condition to get your, you know, to get your attention when your phone's in your pocket, mm -hmm. um, you don't want that to happen very often. It also no. consumes a huge amount of power each time that's it's true. turned on, or at least a significant amount. Um, whereas uh, these effects, because they can be subtle and varied, uh, we think they're going to be become constantly used, and and with that we're seeing you know, five percent range of battery mm -hmm. life reduction. In terms of OS, is it Linux only, or uh, this is this is running on Linux. Um, we are targeting, you know, it, it's going to entirely depend on the OEMs that want to go forward mm -hmm. with this first. Uh, Android and you know, Android is where most of the manufacturers yeah, are today. Right. A lot of folks are going to Windows 8. Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those are um, certainly possibilities. We've developed all of our, all of the software side to be operating system independent. Um, but it does require some initial porting to make sure everything's mm -hmm. working right and, and all the libraries are in place mm -hmm. for, for development. Like Samsung is going to be showing off like the flex flex screen displays at Pepcom and at CS. How, how would that work with something like this? You know what, that is a really great question and one of the neat things about this technology is because what we're doing on the screen is a coating, yes. we can be on a rigid that would surface be, yeah. or a flexible surface. It can be a cur curved surface. Anything that a coating machine can handle, which is a pretty wide range, uh, we can uh, be a solution for. Because that would be crazy, you know, you'd be able to, what do you think, like flex, your, flex, the, sc flex the screen and control it that way and have the, the, uh, the touch on it too. It's just remarkable. Any, any OEMs that have like gone forward yet? This, um, we, we're not in a position to announce any design wins at this point. Okay. And that's gonna be exciting. Oh, this is no, I still don't like how the effects are implemented or the physics engine on this, but we're not game designers, <laughs> we're no. still just crazy, regardless. Uh, I've never seen anything like it, have you? No, <laughs> I didn't exactly know what to expect. Uh, uh -huh. I didn't think it was going to be as, as realistic as it actually is. Like, I kind of was like, okay. Well, I, I love hearing that feedback. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, this just, you know, sometimes we, we surprise uh, me. <laughs> you know, I play with this device every day. Mm -hmm. And so, it's easy for me to get a little bit jaded sometimes and mm -hmm. say, wow, you know, is it really as cool as, as I think mm -hmm. it is? It really like, is. <laughs> it's just, mm -hmm. it's crazy. <laughs> And when you think about it, you know, applications, you know, at first they were made without, you know, it was just plain text, and then text and some graphics, and then text and some graphics and sound. Uh, and the graphics became animations. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, haptics have been, been introduced in the gaming world for a long time, but it's mostly been on controllers, whether it was Thrustmaster way back in the day when I was. Uh, making flight simulators, mm -hmm. uh, or you know, today you know everybody has the vibrating controller to know that they were blown up and called yeah, duty, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But 
Now let's think about bringing not just a shake and wobble, but a real tactile sense to all of the applications so we can help users uh, find what we want them to find. Whether I'm a marketer and I want to have you know, an ad that's running um, you know, something that feels sticky mm -hmm. on the screen uh, in a browser, uh, or you know, if I'm Apple, maybe I want to emboss my logo on the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh. So every time I touch, so any every you feel time somebody, the ridges around it, I can feel the edges of the apple or the texture feel of like, it, and it feels like yeah. it has some contour. Would be nuts. Instead of Google putting up a cornucopia on Thanksgiving, um, you know, maybe in addition to the graphics, they start adding different feels to their logo for special events. Oh my God. Yeah, you know, we can go from the very um, practical of let's help users find shopping content, let's help mm -hmm. people who need to have their visual focus elsewhere or don't have the ability to mm -hmm. have a visual focus be more successful with the device. Or, uh, you know, to the somewhat frivolous of saying let's, let's feel stretching <laughs> the, the slingshot on angry birds. Oh. <laughs> so I can feel it getting oh more tension. Oh my god. Have you tried that? Have you like tried working with Rovio? No, they're, uh, Rovio's pretty busy these days. <laughs> <laughs> that I would be interested in to see. That would be cool. So that's all we got. <laughs> that? <laughs> In in terms of um, like adding to adding this to the smartphones, how much like how 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 much extra weight would it add? Like devices. You know, the weight's really not the consideration no. today. The consideration is our form factor. Yes. You now we we have a uh, mini PCIe board, mm -hmm. and it's going to be uh, a few months before we have that uh, reduced to a form factor that works in a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Let's just play around with it. Oh, no. Yeah, you guys are going to have to work on reflections and stuff with that. <laughs> oh, it's alright. <laughs> just such a, a personal feel. Mm -hmm. Instead of just a shaking. And the thing is, some of those effects, and you felt some of the effects, like the circle screen in the first oh, yeah. screen. You know, those are that's a pretty pretty distinct, intense set of ridges and valleys that you're crossing over with your finger and as you're rolling that ball over that texture. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that, that on that screen that you only feel the texture when you're actually crossing the lines. So when you're in a place where the lines are vertical, you're not crossing very many of them mm -hmm. and you don't feel it as much. Mm -hmm. But clearly uh, it can be a pretty significant tactile effect or mm -hmm. it can be a very gentle one mm -hmm. and what we do find is that people go through a learning curve as they mm -hmm. experiment with this technology and they become more sensitive to the different effects over time mm -hmm. can we go back to that um the treasure app i just want you to close your eyes and let's see if you can find it <laughs> find the treasure yep. well first do it you haven't done it yet and found the treasure so let's, okay, let's see. do it with your eyes open let's first see. Now go over the entire screen. Go, just go quickly and lightly. It actually like stops your finger, like an actual bump. <laughs> All right, now nice try it with your eyes closed. Let's see. Close your eyes, Ty. They're closed. They're closed. See, they're actually closed. There we yeah, go. They found it. Look at that. Wow. Just the. the that, that's, it's, you feel it's, the. Here, here, let's do that again. Just it's make sure I got it. Okay. Nice. You can feel the, the actual bumps of where they want to dig at. Hey, you notice one of the guys goes to sleep when the yeah. one's digging. <laughs>